Hello everyone and welcome back to 13 Nights of Halloween starting in September <laughs> because I have to record these early before my trip and I'm here with a special guest for 13 Nights. It's the Mew Mew Force. So it's uh, Captain Ginyu. Oi. And Jace. Hey, that, that was my voice. <laughs> it was your voice. He stole your thunder. He stole your thunder. That's crazy. What the fuck, Ginyu? Uh, I'm G I'm Jason Alps. <laughs> you know, Ginyu talks like I'm Captain Ginyu. <laughs> That's how Ginyu speaks. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Thank you. I'm getting ready for Sparking Zero. And what game are we here for today for to celebrate uh, Halloween season? It's Dracula X, or as it's known in other territories. Uh, one moment. Fuck. <laughs> it was in Japanese. <laughs> Vampire's Kiss. We'll go Vampire's here. Kiss. That's, yeah. that's a good name. Dracula X for the Super Nintendo was never released our side, which is why this uh, we're using the Dracula X name. Um, we didn't get this because the game soundtrack was too baller. That's the, that's the reason I'll say it. So uh, we'll be playing this for a bit. It's an old Konami joint. Uh, welcome to the year 2024. Konami said we're back to making video games after the pachinko shit. Please buy um, Silent Hill 2 Remake coming out October 10th. <laughs> <laughs> please, uh, money. Money please, me now. Please, money me now. We spent so much money on all these remakes. So I'm going to play this around and when we're going to chill out and we're going to have some fun. Have you guys had any experience with uh, Castlevania before? I've I've played the Castlevania characters in the most recent iteration of Super Smash Bros. Yes. And uh <laughs> I, I know that they are uh quite ridiculous in the, the right hands. That that is my experience. I've also watched Castlevania on Netflix. I assume that's uh, what that is it. That is We'll get ready for this. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but get ready for uh, my favorite part of this game, which is the first opening song to this stage right here. Uh. Wait for it's it. Yeah! Down near, near, near. And now I'm going to strut around beating the shit out of skeletons with my whip. The year is 1990-something, and video games are real. <laughs> they're, they're an actual thing. Uh, this game is also extremely hard, so I'm going to be dying a whole bunch. That's all I need you guys to know. Is that Castlevania is known for being, uh, fuck you hard. Is I, as you can tell, is this guy fucking is just able to hit me from before I'm even able to go near him in any capacity. Uh, these games are tough. They're unforgiving. I missed that bat completely. It's okay. And I'm here to fucking. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fucking deal with everything that's coming my way, bro. I'm, I'm doing my best here. All right. I, yeah, but these games. I would have gotten hit by that, that bat. I didn't know the bat was an enemy, to be honest. It kind of makes sense, though. It does. Um, but yeah, these games are uh, very hard. So I figured this would be a fun way of uh, celebrating spooky season by letting you guys see what Castlevania was before it was just an anime series and nothing else. Because that's unfortunately all Castlevania <laughs> is nowadays. I mean, I've played some Castlevania. Did you? What, what, but... what did you play? Oh, fuck me. Honestly, I cannot remember which version it was, but it was... On someone's, uh, I think a DS. Yeah, the, oh, fuck me. <laughs> I didn't even see that it was a <laughs> rotating one. All right, I have to I have to go back <laughs> now and deal with all these Medusa heads that are never stopping their spawns. All right. Uh, they actually released a collection most recently where, God, oh, oh, God, where they released all the DS games on Steam and a bunch of other platforms, I assume. Uh, that's where I got... Oh, fuck me. Alright, going going back to this... This level is important because it teaches you that, uh... In later stages, those Medusa heads are going to fuck with you. But also, when you fall down, it's not going to be you going back to the start. It's going to be you dying. So you have to be very careful as you walk forward because these things, uh, knock your ass back a decent amount. I don't know why that Medusa is behind me, but I'm just going to move forward. It's coming for you. Yeah, they are. It is, it is with purpose. It is coming for my ass. Just like this skeleton. Oh my god. The fucking three throw combo on the skeleton is insane. Why? <laughs> there we go. Alright, get up here. <laughs> just, did you just get health from a candle? Is, this, is that what just happened? Oh, so the hearts are... Um, they let me use my sub-weapons. So you can see here the knife. 
which is uh, very good, actually. I'll take the knife over this axe for the time being. So, Wait, yeah, so the hearts, heart is yeah. weapons? Yeah, so you see the, how it currently says 29? I press up? Yeah. 28. Oh. Mm -hmm. It lets you use your, your sub skill, basically. Ah! That guy didn't... I didn't need to go that hard on that guy. Ooh, oh, what is that? I think it's some kind of Minotaur creature. Hold up, because I can't, like, run faster. <laughs> My guy doesn't believe in running, so I have to just, like, uh, purposely he's, stride he's forward. He's power walking. <laughs> he's power walking. Macho <laughs> man. Is it still there? Oh, fuck. <laughs> it looks like he's gonna take a shit. Just like, oh, God, oh, God, fuck. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, it's fine. No, I, have to, I think I have to fight him. Okay, no, it's fine. Fucking oh, God. well, he's gone. <laughs> He kind of looks like a, a, a behemoth from Final Fantasy, and I, from playing uh, Monster Hunter World, the behemoth, um, he, he has, like, ended me many times, so I, I don't have good experiences with behemoths. Yeah, uh, we're about to experience a bad experience as I have to now fight this boss. Alright, big health, here it is. I think I have enough health to just power through it, but we'll see. Here's the first boss. <laughs> this fucking jumping um. jaguar. <laughs> alright, alright, wait. Alright. A twin headed dog? <laughs> it, I get the it, it, it cat. Jumps. It's, a, it's a were cat of some kind that also shoots. God damn it. Alright, here we go. Nope. Okay. Got it. Nope. Okay. Okay. I just need to whittle it down and eventually get it. The problem is, is that it jumps really fucking far. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus. god. <laughs> and I faded into dust, and now I am not back at the start of the level. I am back here. So I have to get all those hearts. I lost almost all my hearts after I did that. But it's fine. Hey, it's like playing Hades. It is exactly like playing Hades. A bunch of old games were exactly like playing like Hades because uh, you died a bunch and then you got sent back to the start of the level. Alright, so let me lock in and fucking beat this guy. I don't think it's that tough. I just have to remember that it can jump at me at any given point in time and kill me. All right. Oh my god. Are you going to Are you going to play Altered Beast? Altered Beast? Altered Beast isn't really a uh, what I consider god damn it, a Halloween game. Bunch of cheese. I mean, you do rise from your grave. I'll give you that much, but in terms of the spooky aesthetic, I don't think it has it like Castlevania. Though. Like Castlevania does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you turn into a werewolf and then a dragon. You do. Someone's knocking at the door, boy. Uh, let me go here. You do. You turn into a lot of weird things in Altered Beast, but I always saw it as a more like a Greek mythology game, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, similar to how I wouldn't consider Hades, even though you are literally in hell, a like Halloween type game, even though there is also a skeleton that trains you. All right. Yeah, nice try. This time, I'm gonna cheese it out, because this is how you actually beat most NES bosses. Is that I'm just gonna be slightly off screen. There we go. Slap it around. Alright. Yes. You're just cheesing it out until you get good? Yes, exactly. That's how you beat most bosses in the old days. You, didn't, you think it was skill? Nah, man. Pure it was formula. Exactly. <laughs> These things are AIs built on a very specific uh, training. And as long as you remember <laughs> that and you memorized it, it was impossible to beat them. All right, all right. I think it has just, to be you, close. If you don't just run up to him and oh. smack him. Yeah, eat shit. <laughs> all right. Catch the orb. Pray at the mountain. So oh. There's my password that I have to remember if I ever want to keep playing at this after level one. Wait, where, where, what? My yeah, heart score. Yeah, the these are these the passwords are okay. So if you're younger of the generation, passwords were something you input to let you go to certain stages. Um, this game has basically infinite continues, but at the same time, the only thing that it doesn't have infinite is your willpower to continue forward because that will slowly die as the game continues forward. So if you ever wanted to stop and be like, well, I'm, I'm 10, I need to go to school or some shit. Uh, you had to have put in your password. So it does not remember that I'm on level two. Oh God. Oh God. This song is also kind of banger. Do -do -do -do. I love Castlevania's music. I love Castlevania in general. I wish they made a new game. It would be nice. The last the last official game that they made, even though I think um, the new DS collection does technically feature... Oh, God. Oh, God. Run. Oh, God. Run. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. 
All right, continue. <laughs> <laughs> I had to start. If sure, I, why not? If I, if I died at that boss, by the way, I would have to have started all the way back at level one. I would have to start way at the bay, way back at the start of the stage. But at least you have the password to get back to there. Yes, exactly. All right, I have to just like purposely strive forward. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I just need to lock in. That's uh, that's all I need to do. I, th I think uh, Ginyu's <laughs> mic is like correcting his laughter. <laughs> and dampening it. You know, that, ex <laughs> that explains a lot. Alright. I got it this time. Watch this. Yeah, locked in. Oh, snap! Yeah. Eat shit, merman. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you and your bur people. All right, now open the bridge. Thank you. Oh god, <laughs> that was a brief moment to me. The thought that this he was is, gonna uh, make joke. This is giving me those vibes. You ever watch those uh Super Mario videos where they're like impossibly hard? Yeah, like, and... uh, like Cat Mario or I guess Mario yeah. Maker levels. Yeah, and the guy finally figures out the pattern only to be thumped like a foot later on screen. That that's what this is like. <laughs> yeah, this, this is uh, this is these are the kind of games I grew up with as a kid. Uh, where <laughs> every single slight misstep was punished to the point of death. Wait, the hold on. These, yes. You're you're younger than us. Why were you playing these older games? Uh, I had a Super Nintendo. I um, when did I get the? Because you know the answer is is that the Super Nintendo was um. It lasted a really long ass time. It was like the PS3 and 360 of its day, where like the PS1 was out, and then so was uh, Donkey Kong Country. If you want to know the specific timeline of how shit is crazy, when Donkey Kong Country came out, PlayStation 1 was making video games. That's how long the fucking Super Nintendo lifespan was. That's bananas. It is. And also, I realized what you did there. I didn't have a good re re uh, response back though. <laughs> so I just, <laughs> I just acknowledged it. Uh, so that's how I was able to play a lot of these games, and I also rented a lot of these from Blockbuster. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Blockbuster. Guys. Yeah. Ah, uh, Blockbuster. Oh, see, Ooh. look! This fucker! <laughs> you didn't see that shit coming, did you? I did! That's some bullshit! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting like fucking sideways. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh god, now there's two of them. The thing is, is that I can see in his little sprite animation that he's ready for me. Like he's going, like, oh, I'm gonna get you. Just wait. Uh, if they were, if they were to remake this game, how would you envision it? Would it be like a roguelike, or would it be like, like a, um, a Devil May Cry kind of game? I think like a hack and slash. If if you were to make an actual version of Castlevania to this true to the Castlevania, I think you would have to make it a roguelike. Of some kind. Oh, you fucker! <laughs> I think a roguelike would make the most sense, but at the same time, there is a certain adventure aspects of some of them. So a lot of the the later Castlevania games, especially the ones on the advance, were a little bit more like Metroid games. Oh my god! I didn't know that you could fucking do that. You guys weren't doing that beforehand. What the hell switched up? Um, it's because you're on their level now. I yeah. I mean, like, I guess the. Oh my god! If I miss this jump, I'm gonna be so fucking sad. All right, go up here. Um, they've tried to do the whole action thing and it never worked out for them, but I think maybe nowadays with some of the stuff of the way games play thanks to Dark Souls, I think you could probably actually make a legitimate Castlevania game again. Not making it full Dark Souls, but similar to- oh my god. Like, not with like, a, like weapon stats and shit, all I need is a Belmont, this ability to duck down, and the ability to just whip the shit out of whatever comes out. Because that's the thing that is true <laughs> Castlevania to me, is that I'm just a dude with a whip, and I just got killed by an eyeball. And now I have to start that entire fucking level all over again. Okay, thank god. From right here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for the most yeah. part, the thing that I wouldn't want is like a one where it's like a traditional character action game where like you level up stats. I'm not into leveling up stats. I'm able to do this for you. Here, of course, there was a fucking chicken leg right here. That means there was health right before I died. Ugh, this fucking game. Um, <laughs> I need the ability to be... The thing being tested right now is my ability to want to actually beat something, and no stats are interfering with that. That also makes me feel like there is a, a, a boss right here. 
I was right. You guessed right. I'm just gonna fucking throw knives and see if that works. Okay, no. Okay, wait. Bro, you throw like, you threw like five knives and and he hit you once and and you did the same damage. <laughs> oh my god. All right. If I just throw knives, eventually he will die. Oh god. But now he's pushing me back. All right. We're good. Throw knives. Throw knives. All right. I died. Hey guys, do you remember remember <laughs> the merman? <laughs> I'm back here. No, no, no. The mermen are back to greet me saying I we knew you'd be back. No! <laughs> Cause that's maybe the the I guess the, the fun of these games is realizing that even though I know that all those mermen are about to pop up at me, they still fucking get me every single time. I know how to complete this stage is to throw this out for it, and I still fucking <laughs> died. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna get like all my lives. If I'm gonna waste lives at this beginning part, I may as well have everything. <laughs> there we go. Uh, back here. There's uh some some. S S plus strategery. Yeah, exactly. This is what we like to, uh, what I like to call the 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 losing mindset of like, if I don't have full lives, man, why even fucking bother? Bother. I even fucked up that word. That's how strong it felt. You, you became an islander for a second. <laughs> I did. That merman did not make it to the stage. I guess he just wanted to pop out and say hello. He didn't feel the need to actually like try and stop me or anything. There we go. Yeah, what now? Eat shit? Stupid moment. The funny thing is that some of them just seem to be here to spin, and I feel kind of bad. <laughs> For some reason, I saw that coming! <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> uh, send it all. Oh, hey guys, it's stage two. I'm back here. <laughs> I'm back. See, this is, this is why games like this need a good music, because you're going to be hearing this fucking song at the beginning riff of it every single time you come back here. Every single time. Without fail. I'm sure. I'm sure I can find, like, a heavy metal version of this song that some dude covered on YouTube. You can. This song is oh, been absolutely. remixed by Konami, I want to say multiple times it's like in smash brothers even it's like one of the songs for it which is funny because i think this is oh my fucking god oh no <laughs> you fuck you f swear he, fuck. Fu he fucking fu he frog splashed on you <laughs> he did that's the worst part is that he's not like the others this guy fucking uh, flexed on me as the end there he free willied my shit and it'll kill me <laughs> Oh my god. I, I, I don't know how I dodged that guy. <laughs> no. Alright. Alright. I'm good. I'm back. D ignore that I almost died there. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I just need to push forward. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Almost. Almost. Oh. No, you can't fool me again. Here we go. Ah, uh, giant skeleton. Uh, what was I even talking about? Uh, yeah, blo to get back to what we were saying like five minutes ago, I used to rent a lot of these older games on SNES um, at Blockbuster. So that's how I was able to play a lot of old classic games and not actually own a single one of them. <laughs> Is that <laughs> you'd go to Blockbuster, give them the whatever money, and then you'd be happy for like the, the week or so. Unless the game was shit, in which case you were just kind of like, oh. I game sucks. Yeah, I wasted everything. I've wasted my life. <laughs> this game is so terrible, and this is my entire weekend. <laughs> hey, man. At least uh, you experienced it. I uh, w We didn't have Blockbuster money, so mm. I didn't have this. This looks cool. It does. Unfortunately, this game specifically uh, never came out, but the other Castlevania games did, obviously. The ones for uh, the other ones for Super Nintendo. Super Castlevania is the one I played a whole bunch of, and this one I played a little bit more on the PSP version when it finally came out, because um, that's when it was officially released in English. So it was only released in the UK as that like uh, vampire kiss thing. I sh ah, what the fuck? The, okay, 
I guess they can just do that. I didn't know that they could mix my shit so hard that they pushed me back that far. You tossed your salad, bro. What? This you is just insane. did it again. <laughs> How were they able to? These are like the hardest fucking dudes I've ever had to fight in here. This is insane. He's gonna stab you from the top. Now there's two of them. Oh no. Oh my god. Can y'all Oh. Try? The worst thing is that they're like playing footsies with me, man. They're like they're like Street Fighter characters. They're waiting for me. Whoa. How am I supposed to get out of there? There's my, there's my question. Is that they're I'm playing... they're fucking... doing the boss method on you. They are. 100%. Alright, I'm gonna fucking run past them. Oh, fuck! And I was hard punished by having that weird bone guy there. Okay, this is how I... This is how I kill... What? It would have been really I... funny if... The You're... deflected axe, like, hit you, <laughs> hit you on the way down. Bro. This is, this is... What Wait, is that like a... Do? I can't are they just look... deflecting? Is that like an automatic thing? Is that a mechanic? They just deflect it automatically? Yeah, apparently their, their shit just automatically <laughs> deflects it. They're by the stairs. I can't actually go up the game until they leave the stairs. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright, fuckers. Okay. <laughs> I see you. I, I'm trying so hard to just hit him with the whip of my whip. Okay, there you go. That guy was about to just completely... I'm so close to getting the health. No! Okay. <laughs> he, touched me, he touched me with the tip. The fucking tip got me. <laughs> Unfucking believable yes. Now I'm back at the start of the fucking... <laughs> dealing with these guys again. Only this time no sub weapon. Hey, at least you're not uh, seeing the mer people again. You're right, but at least the mer the mer people didn't hit me with this move with this much frame advantage. It's insane. This is what it feels like to fight against like Ken in Street Fighter Six or something. This is insane. Getting them, getting that muscle me memory trained. I do. Apparently that yeah yeah, but that's the this is how a lot of these oh my God, how a lot of these games would be able to get you for a weekend is they were made hard on purpose so that if you did rent them you couldn't beat them in a single day. Um, so you had at to least... get, so as a kid, you had to be really good at being able to beat them in a single day. <laughs> but just not at least you're not playing. spending quarters. It's true. I'm backing off for a bit. Oh my god. That's insane. I don't know how to stop that move. And I'm at like one life. If I lose this life, it's over. I had to go back to the mer people. No! Back to the mer people. Back to the ocean, ocean man. Oh my god. Now they're they're by the door. Okay, I'm just gonna let you both approach me silently. There we go. Okay. Can you guys stop? Okay. I have to be careful when climbing. There we go. Nope. Nice try. The answer is jump away. Okay, I figured it out. I figured it out. Oh, what up? Oh. I've caught your fucking game plan now, fucker. <laughs> What's up? I realized that what to beat it is that you had to jump <laughs> this entire time. Alright. Locked in. Ready. I can beat that boss thing in like a single life. That's possible, right? I totally want yeah. my ass kicked immediately and just, have to just, go back. Just don't get I, hit I, I two times. I wonder what the fuck is up with this guy. What is he supposed looks to like is he a chicken? It kind of looks like it kind of looks like the skeleton of a xenomorph. <laughs> it does a little bit. Minus the whole. Uh, oh, there's the chicken. Get away from it, you gigantic! Oh, oh there we go. All right. Two. Could you imagine if it actually fucking took it away from you? <laughs> I'd be so sad. All right, I'm leaving. No. Ah! Leave. All right, we're good. All right. I just have to dodge it and hit it with this move a whole bunch. Okay, I just have to dodge it. 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 <laughs> Where is it? It's not near me. Oh god. I did. I, I, I just have to dodge it. Okay, I see. I see how you're. I don't see. Oh. Uh... directly in front of me. Hey guys. <laughs> have you seen Welcome this? back. <laughs> Have you seen this stage before? Ocean man, take me <laughs> by the hand, and lead me to the land. Ocean man, that's <laughs> why in these new games they let you save save state as well, which I can do, and I'm not doing it um, because what's what's the fun of 13 Nights of Halloween if I'm gonna save state my way out of this? It's a sad way of looking at it. 
But I don't mind if actual people do it. I think it's fine. I realize that not a lot of people who grew up with these games maybe have the same tolerance that I do. I, I'm really thinking, wouldn't it be hilarious if you were just like barely touched it and he went to do the jump, he just immediately died? <laughs> That's my fear every single time I see him go up for it. Alright, slap it around. Kill that bat. So what are you fellas uh, planning to do for the spooky season? Um... Any special, special plans? Anything like watch some horror movies? Anything planned for that? It's a little bit weird because like I said, this is being recorded in September even though it's releasing sometime in October. But, you got anything for fun I usually go uh, trick-or-treating with my friend and uh, their kids. Uh, oh. They usually in involve me in their, uh, their costume... Uh, Whatever they have planned. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. So their kids this year have have taken an interest in uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So they're gonna be the turtles, and and they said that I have to be Shredder, and uh, I I am 100% down with that. So I'm I'm going to print a Shredder mask. <laughs> I was gonna say, which version of Shredder are you thinking of? Um, I don't remember which version, but it's the one without sleeves. Not like super Kevin Nash version. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's because like Halloween these past few years have been like pretty warm. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that guy, this guy's, these guys are fucking pulling out moves I've never seen before. I'm feeling like Sukuna over here fighting dudes that are pulling out new moves. I'm like, oh that's shit! The, this is the fastest I've seen you throw that whip. <laughs> I, I didn't know you could throw it that fast. Yep, again. Uh, previous years you were what? Previous years, I, I was cooking. Like, I've, I've been the Winter Soldier. I've been Bowser, like the onesie version of Bowser. <laughs> nice. And, uh, oh yeah, 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 I forgot Jace, Jace was the one that, uh, put me on that. Oh, the one. That was oh, yeah. hilarious. <laughs> yeah, the, the Bowser onesie. Damn. Yeah, it's alright. I got, I got it this time. <laughs> I'll get it through it. Um, uh, but uh, the, the point is, it's it's been hot. Like in those costumes, it's been hot. Really. So I figure, at least as Shredder, even if I have like that that helmet on my face, um, at least my arms can breathe. That's true. That that sounds good, pretty comfy. That doesn't sound too bad. I've Especially never... since you're trick or treating with like a kid. So, you guys are probably out there during, what, it's still daylight? daylight? No, no, they, they've been trick-or-treating at night. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, really? I wonder how, yeah. how, are, how is trick-or-treating nowadays? I, I keep thinking um, about it where I, I don't think it's like the way we used to do it anymore, right? Oh, uh, it's it's pretty close to the experience I've had as a child. Really? I feel like, on, I feel like when I was younger, though, more houses in a row were definitely more into it. Uh, nowadays, it's like you get a few houses down the block, which is kind of all you really need because they give you a lot of candy anyway. Yeah, it's true. If I if a kid ever showed up to be like, "Yo, trick or treat," I give them as much candy as possible because I'm like, I don't see kids that often. Yeah, it, it, it's I I haven't had any trick or treaters in fucking years now. I've had to stop buying the candy because I just end Eat up it. eating the candy. <laughs> yeah. That's oh no! A, that's a pretty big fear of mine as well. Where I'm like, all right, well, uh, well, all the family's now eating this candy for the next three days. <laughs> oh, almost forgot. I, I've learned in recent years that the, like, a couple blocks away from where I live, uh, it's a pretty lit like Halloween spot. Like, there's like there's like actual foot traffic, and I have to stop, and like uh, traffic actually backs up. Really? And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That's awesome. I do, I do not have that experience anymore. Wait. So what? What is it? My, no, it's just, it's just a it's just a bunch of houses that are like actually like down for Halloween. Oh, sick. I yeah. Feel like I, maybe, maybe it's more of like a community thing. Because maybe that's yeah, that I, makes sense. They might also just just we just probably just have a lot of kids like in that neighborhood that make it you know possible. Yeah, that's the thing is that eventually all the kids in my neighborhood grew up. So they didn't want to do trick or treat stuff anymore, and we weren't getting like a new surplus of kids suddenly being brought in from families. So it makes sense if they were. Uh, I almost lost all of them. It would make sense if there was less kids trick or treating, because it would be literally the case of there's just less of them now. Oh yeah. 
feel good about myself on that one. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's good to hear that at least some uh, some kids are still having a good trick or treat experience, I guess. Yeah, they also this... do something called a uh, trunk or treat, I've heard where <laughs> it's like a kind of like a school event or like a community event where they just have cars like lined up and parents decorate the fucking back of their cars. cars. Mm. It's a little safer. Different... Yeah. That makes sense. Kids yeah. still get their candy. Yeah. We're doing that for work, actually, for our clients. Oh, cool. Oh my god, this guy's fucking weird head. There we go. He's dead now. Uh, what about um, you, Jace? Anything specific planned, or is it just... Uh, uh I'm... I'm going to Horror Nights, Halloween Horror Nights at Universal. Cool. Nice. So are we. Um, We're going next week, actually. <laughs> nice. Uh, I, I'm going for work. Mm. Um, <laughs> so it, this is just a very weird uh, team bonding kind of thing. Sure. And, and research. So it's just like, oh, OK, we're going to. All right. Cool. Nothing sure. bonds. Nothing bonds the team more than hearing your co-worker scream. and their blood bl blood curdling scream oh they're gonna be fucking terrified like <laughs> I, I a majority of our team has not been to this thing before and uh the only thing i have apprehension on is like oh that's a lot of fucking lines i don't want to be in lines all day <laughs> it is a lot of lines if you're not buying the past thing to go forward <laughs> i don't think they did i didn't i didn't mind it too much I, i've only been to horror nights once and the longest line for me was the 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 tram tour or you know whatever that yeah. attraction is in Horror Nights, and it honestly wasn't that bad. That, I, that was that was the year the Dodgers went to the finals. I don't think they won that year, but I remember um, everyone standing in line was watching the Dodgers game and like they were going crazy. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. But a very specific, like, thing to memorize <laughs> about that point in time. It's because it was very loud. Like, it's it, you couldn't not stand in line and not hear people just either watching the game on their phones or, like, talking about it. Because like, cause whenever they, they scored, it was it was just loud. Man. Did they, did they win or not? They won that game, but they lost the series. Oh, okay. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, so I'm doing that, uh, and, uh, probably just gonna watch some movies. I always get a costume, but I'm, it's not like I'm going out to a party or nothing. I just like Chill. dressing up. Fair. <laughs> I don't, I haven't done, uh, a Halloween dress up in, I think, a long time. Very long time. Probably since high school. I don't remember if I ever tried it in college, but I'm gonna assume I did not, just because of, I would probably have gotten, uh, <laughs> ridiculed by the friends I had. Not saying you guys are the friends, but the other the other two uh, fellow gentlemen. <laughs> they would not have let me live it down if I had shown up at as anything on Halloween. <laughs> Love them dudes, but I did we were back then we were looking for anything to fucking just bust balls over someone with <laughs> Meanwhile I went to the fucking college dressed as Batman. <laughs> it's true. That was our friend group. That was the best. That is awesome. Unfortunately, I joined you guys a little bit later. You could have helped me out <laughs> in that situation. All right. This is good times. It is. Yeah, it is for sure. And uh, yeah, my obvious plans are I'm going to MagicCon, but also next week is Hornets for us. So, not yes, next week. Next week. I was about to say, is it next week? It is, in fact, next week. I will have already gone by the time people have heard this. <laughs> I love going there, though. It's a lot of fun. Even though I remember my early nights of it being uh, a lot of just waiting around and stuff. It's still pretty fun. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nice atmosphere of it. Very different from everyday life. So it feels fun. Okay. Can you fuckers stop? I've never had this nice of a run here, and you guys are both ruining my vibes. I'm about to get... Oh, not... See, like, the problem was is that this, I, as soon as we stopped talking about it and I started to acknowledge their existence, the part of my brain where I said, now play worse, started playing. <laughs> oh, no. I know. Sad, but true. 
I'm gonna get this instead. Meanwhile, we're just watching with bated breath of like, oh shit. <laughs> He's it's going down. down. It's What's the next down. convention? Or like in our area anyway? LA uh, Comic Con this next weekend. Oh, oh, cause it's October. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I, the answer here for this level is just have the holy water. <laughs> I should have <laughs> realized this sooner. I should have put my faith in God. Oh my god, I was about to jump off here. It's fine. Uh, Comic Con, yeah. Yeah. Did, did they do they do anything for October? No, it's just the hair here. Here's some news. Get ready for all your favorite Marvel news to hear. Ah, oh, you fuck! You asshole! <laughs> <laughs> that was Robert Downey Jr.'s spy, because he felt that I was about to fucking talk some shit on him. <laughs> and he fucking got me with the fucking bone transplant, whatever movie fucking got there. Giant fucking eye. Fuck off. I know you die in two hits. You die in two hits! I'm gonna ignore you. I can't ignore you now, because you're near the heart, and I need that. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that guy's my biggest op right now. Guy in front of boss who <laughs> fucking cooks my shit. I think I understand how to beat this guy, it's just the understanding of how to set it up is different. I have to wait for him to get low, like right there, and then hit him with this so that he turns to a bunch of tiny ones, and then just fucking wail on him at, at, under the bridge here. Ah. I think I have it. I just need to go in here. But you see what I'm saying, right? When he's going for the bridge, stay underneath him, and then you'll be fine. Get over if here. You had, if you had more health bar, yeah, you probably would've won that time. Oh, you're saying if I, I didn't fucking lose everything to this fucking eyeball <laughs> piece of shit? You're right, you're correct. <laughs> I agree. You should, you should wait to get that chicken after you kill these two. You know what? Strategery. Alright. There you go. I don't even need it now. Now I'm just getting it for the points. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I think I got it. Oh. Oh my God. Come on! Come on! Oh! Oh! Die, oh, die, die. oh! Oh! That was that's pretty pretty. Oh! Oh no! All right. Okay. Good. Come on, come on, come on, yes, come on, yes. come on. How the fuck are you so- Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck off. I'm fucking Trevor, one of the Bellman fucks. Get here. Get. Get fucked. Get fucked. I, I had no uh, lives there. Score. Well, okay, have you listened to uh, the latest run of uh, Adventure Zone? I have not. I heard they're doing something horror related, correct? I, yes. I have so much to catch up on. It's, uh, the Adventure Zone, uh, I think it's Versus Dracula? Yeah, Versus Dracula. Ooh, that would be good for, for around this time, actually. And for the intro, Griffin made, like, the fucking bangin'est, like, it sounds like Castlevania music, but, like, very nice and, like, rocky. Really? Yeah. He maybe makes some good music sometimes. He does. He just has the licensing fee for the Vocaloid thing, if I remember right. Or at least he did. Maybe he's had a better setup since um, the first Adventure Zone stuff. But I remember that's how he said he had GarageBand. And he bought licenses for stuff. And that's how it made the music. I got GarageBand. It's pretty fun to play with. I bet. Do you oh. understand it? In the stuff in there? Because I don't um, understand anything about music. I understand some things. The they have different settings for how you want to play, like piano, for example. But I don't play piano, so I don't get it. <laughs> um, they do the same with like bass and guitar, but uh, again, I don't play either of those instruments. Um, I can read notes, uh, but unfortunately, um, you can't make sheet music. Which, if that, if you could do that, or maybe I just haven't figured it out. If you could do that, I I could like figure it out like pretty fast interesting yeah that is interesting uh i don't know how to make music i know how to do beats to make it sound like it's music but whenever there was an option to try it in a game i was never able to do it like my town song like other people would be like here's the bass riff from funky town and i'd be like here's my sick town anthem and that would be like my shit <laughs> that's all i would make as a kid 
<laughs> I've been watching a lot of. Oh, you're about to die! But the problem is, is you see that platform in front of them. It's, it's a falling yes. one. I know it's a falling one. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna throw these knives at them. But of course, the fucking Medusa's got me before I could ever do anything. But what um, were you saying? So, oh well, I was gonna say lately I've been watching uh, this YouTube ca channel called Dromeo, mm -hmm. where uh, they have um, drummers. Uh, how do I say this? They okay. They have them listen to a, a song, uh, and they're, they're kind of assuming that they've never heard the song before, and, and usually it works out. But they're they're listening to the song of other bands uh, without the drums, so they have to figure out the drum part, and basically they do whatever they want. And the the first one I saw um, was of fucking Chad Smith from Red Hot Chili Peppers drumming to um the kill for my uh for uh 30 seconds to mars uh -huh. right and if you've never heard that song before you think that's that's how it goes and he's like i've never heard the song before but it, it was almost like uh not spot on but like pretty close if you've never if you've never heard the song you've been like this this is it this is the part because he figured it out really fast oh. um yeah, but it's, it's really cool. They they have other drummers who aren't as um, they definitely drum in their own style, but going from like Chad Smith to anyone else, it's like damn. It's like when you have the world's best wine, the second best wine tastes like fucking cat piss. That that's basically what happened to me. <laughs> like the other the other guys are good, but you know because I saw the Chad Smith one first, they, they're shit. Fair enough. <laughs> fucking shit trying to kill me. This is just like trying to live in life. I'm trying to live my life in Medusa heads and fucking dragon heads are trying to kill me. Ah! Fuck you! Okay. I got... <laughs> oh, you should play... Oh, fuck. You should play that game where all they're doing is like climbing until they reach the top. I forgot what it's called, uh, though. Ben and Fonny's get o getting over with? Getting over it? Or there's a couple of them. I know what you're down there for, you fuck. Don't there's... Think... I there's... I think... I think the co-op version is called Chain Together, but there's oh, a single-player yeah. version. No way you can fuck me, Reach! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm lucky I jumped that, because, like, surely this man's Reach is not insane. I didn't know I was playing against a fucking... I was trying to think of a character with long reach, and all I could think of were characters from Naruto Clash of the Ninja 2. And I did that the, the analog would not make sense. I didn't the know I was first, fighting Conqueror full with the fucking puppet. The first one that came to mind was um, Dalsim, to be honest. Oh yeah, Dal Dalsim is a big one for sure. Um, I got I got both those <laughs> in my <laughs> mind. I just couldn't remember uh, Dalsim's name. Oh, okay. You I, remember Conqueror was my favorite, though. but like I'm like, yeah, it's the, <laughs> the guy with the red on his head. Little yes. skeletons. Yep, you got he's it. super stretchy. He is a very, he's a stretchy man. What does this do? When um, oh, sweet. I can't remember if it was Street Fighter Five or Six, but Dalsim. <laughs> I was invincible and I let myself feel like I was knocked off. Hey guys, remember um, this place? I'm back. I, I sure do. <laughs> um, what's this thing? Uh, Dalsim. I can't remember if it was Street Fighter Five or Six. I think it was Street Fighter Five. For a while, he was like actually strong, and um. What's that pro's name? I think it's the Filipino champ. Mm -hmm. who, like, who likes to play Dalsim. He was like styling on everybody, and he was like getting his revenge on people. It's pretty funny. I've, uh, I think, Dalsim is similar to Zangief, where if he's ever one of the best characters, people don't like to acknowledge it because it's Dalsim. But also, if he's good, you'll know it because the up, <laughs> the amount of complaining about him will be increased to an insane degree because <laughs> nobody likes losing to Dalsum or Zangief in any capacity. I if if Zangief zero zero to a hundred or a hundred to zeroed me um at like the start, mm -hmm. I wouldn't feel too bad. If he hundred to zeroed me as I was about to kill him, yeah, I would be salty. I'd be hella salty. That was, that was always the problem, especially with uh, in Street Fighter Six with modern Zangief, which is why they uh, they nerfed him a little bit because people were complaining about him. 
Which is really funny, because if you get into the point where you have to nerf Zangief, who usually is seen as like a lower tier character, you are like, uh, what's going on here, guys? Why are you hitting the funny, <laughs> the funny character here? Why aren't you hitting Ken or something, like someone who's legitimately uh, a problem? Oh my god, this fucking fire. Didn't they, um... It, it made, um, Justin Wong play Zangief, I think. The modern control one? No, really? just, just Zang like this this iteration of Zangief in general. Oh, they nerfed that version currently. Oh, really? Yeah, they did. Because again, people people were complaining. Specifically, a lot of Japanese players would complain <laughs> and say that uh, it's he's too much right now. So during he got nerfed. during tournaments, um, Snake Eyes uh, and that one other dude who played Zangief. They were like my favorite dudes to watch. <laughs> I, I mean, I like watching Zangief. I probably am like, of the similar mind of those players where it's like, I don't like losing out of nowhere to Zangief. Die. God compels you. How are you dodging oh. this? <laughs> How? <laughs> Has God forsaken me so much that I can't even fucking hit him? <laughs> there we go. You, you need to bring He's, him back a little bit. He is not dodging. It's just not hitting him. Is this costing well, now, it, now it is. There you go. They said, would yeah, you you're really... Out of Bro, You're out of ammo. This is why this guy's walking like this. Is like I spent everything on trying to kill him. It's so fucked up that they give you meat here before an area where if you make a single mistake, you instantly die. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Say. Is that the holy water? That is the holy water. I'm getting rid of it for the the time stopper because I don't think that um. There we go. I don't think that uh. Oh shit! All right. I just need to. All right. No. Okay. Okay. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Okay. <laughs> don't miss. You have no idea. If I get hit once, I get sent into the fucking water and I die. I can't. I can't. I can't go out that way. I can't. <laughs> At least you're at the water again. <laughs> Eat shit. Oh, I was about to fucking die there. I could feel it. <laughs> I was throwing. No. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> no! Okay, okay, no, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. We're, whatever, we're fine, we're fine. Look at that. I can take a little hit. It's okay. I earned that. I can deserve it. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that bat at the back of me. I'm gonna ignore that merman. And I'm. that's not gonna bite me in the ass in any kind of capacity. <laughs> I'm just enjoying a little... Strategery. Yeah, exactly. Look at me. I'm just enjoying myself right now. Oh my god, I almost fucking died again. That, 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 that was pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see you, Merman. <laughs> fuck! He's just so <laughs> excited! I see you. They're all coming after me. If the bat spawned in right there and hit me on the stairs, I would have literally lost everything. They tried to, uh, they tried to frog splash you right there. They are. I'm gonna just throw some knives at this guy. Cause this guy throws axes at me. Oh wow, that still hits you. I mean, his his range is insane. I respect it. All right. Oh, of course, <laughs> of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, I think I have. To, I think I can hit these. Is, is that a new move set? I don't think like, so. Like, did he do that last time? Where he threw the top one and the bottom one? Well, I don't remember actually. I'm out of hearts. I don't think I can. No, yeah, okay, I can. Okay. As long as I stay down here and do this weenie shit, he can't hurt me. See, look. <laughs> weenie, weenie Hut Jr. shit? This is Weenie Hut Jr. shit. This is, this is what got me through everything. In my hardest moments, in my hardest time, when I, when my family members are <laughs> in hospital, I kneel down and I press the button to whip out the whip. Because I know that the whip will always have my back and the whip will always be there for me. Look at it. Whipping the shit out of these skull dragons. They ain't nothing. I, I just imagined you in your family's living room just whipping shit <laughs> <laughs> just crouched over just whipping shit on the ground this is my coping mechanism i don't go to therapy what i do is i whip shit oh my god i can't hit this guy no no <laughs> wait what wait no no oh oh wow there was a transition screen oh was there oh did i go to a did I die? 
No. Oh. 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 Secret tunnel. <laughs> See, I had y'all fooled. Yeah, I knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> Oh man, this is disgusting. This is some Dookie Brown. There's monsters in that in the Dookie Swamp. You fucking okay, it's fine. <laughs> fucking skeleton man. The thing do is about these enemies. You think the? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I was gonna say, do you think the Dookie monsters are Dookie monsters, or are they just uh, skeletons coated in Dookie? <laughs> oh god, I think they could be skeletons coated in Dookie. I don't know how you survived that skeleton, but you did not survive the whip. So close to just falling in it. I see you! Don't think that you can just walk back and forth and escape the whip. These skeletons got frog legs. Oh, you can walk on that! Okay, okay that's what I thought. Okay, I can. Good to know. I probably don't want to. Well, because I was like, why would that be there unless, like, you end up down there, right? You know what? That does make sense. I'll give you that. Oh my god, these fuckers. Can I go this way? No, I can't. God, the way that thing moves. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Co controller disconnected, maybe? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I didn't say if you didn't see that. I'm not gonna load. If I <laughs> die, I'm back to wherever fucking start I was in. That's weird. Maybe that was the game going like, hey man, you deserve it. You've been playing <laughs> for a while, <laughs> and we feel that this bat is about to completely fucking what own you and fall into the vat of acid, so. Oh. Okay. Okay, alright. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Major Tom, everything's okay. There's no astrological failure. There's going on here. Everything's perfectly okay. That bat that was in space has been dealt with. No! Oh! No! Oh! Do not tell me I have to go all the way fucking back. I, have I to go. think that's... I have to go back. In the, do in the dookie water. One, oh, the poison water. This is actually lower... Well, no, 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 no. where do I start is the answer. Okay, here. Oh, oh, that's not too bad. Whatever, they just saved me. One, I have like maybe a single life left for this boss. I can beat it in a single life. I've never met it before, but I have the feeling that I'm stronger than it. Because of the trials that I've gone through to build me to be the man that I am today. I don't... You just gotta clench those cheeks. Exactly. I power stride for a better tomorrow. I power walk for a better today. <laughs> Alright, there has to be something in here. You don't make a room like this and not- No! Oh! <laughs> okay, okay. Is this the It's boss? a titan. Oh. It's a titan, bro. Okay. Okay, I didn't know you had hops like that. Oh, he spread them cheeks! Oh god. He spread those cheeks for you. Oh my god. Can I, can I just run away? The answer is yes. Later! <laughs> oh. Um... Later. <laughs> not my problem. Um... <laughs> they can live with their failures. <laughs> Wow, that really just happened. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that was fucking weird. That skeleton was ready for me, and then he didn't expect me to, like a true oh. hero, run away. Oh, hey, you just... Okay, well. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll be, be here, I guess. I'll be here with my moveset, doing, doing jack shit, I guess. All right. <laughs> I have to time this perfectly, because I have a feeling... I painted myself of, red and everything. I painted myself for you, and, <laughs> you know, I just feel like... <laughs> We could have really had a cool showdown here that made a memory, and instead you ran away from me just like everyone else in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Hey, for some reason in my head this this guy has a uh, Michael Jackson hat on, and I know that's not what he- <laughs> I know he does it, it's a headband, but for some reason right now in this specific light of blue, it almost looks like he's wearing the the Michael Jackson hat from um, Moonwalker. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is designed to fuck me, but it did not fuck me. Eat shit! Oh, Great. delicious now turkey I, dinner. Now I just see that fucking hat. Woo! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Alright, then what, this has to be the boss room. What's, what's Michael Jackson's favorite um, recreational activity? Dancing? Music? <laughs> Other things that would get my channel taken down that I can't mention? Um, no. <laughs> Wait, what is it? What the fuck is it? What the fuck is that? He loves to ski! <laughs> <laughs> you dumb fucking... 
<laughs> this skeleton man here. I need you to clarify for me. Did you say ski oh as in like snow and skis, or did you say skeet as in said, all these walls? I said ski as in with skis and poles, but I said he afterwards. <laughs> ski. <laughs> I get it. No, I get it. You ski. It's a stupid joke, but for some reason it's really funny. Well, I'm, I'm back here for now. I should have seen what my password was. <laughs> Guys, I think I think that's enough for this. I don't think I can take it. After that guy started shooting me with skeletons and the skiing, and then he hit me with the slow-mo button, and I couldn't do anything. I made it to stage four. All that dookie water. All that dookie water. This is, this is, I think I could beat this level over time. Maybe if we find more time later on, we will continue on the, the Castlevania hitting. But for right now, that's a good solid hour of Castlevania. And then that's it for today's uh, 13 Nights of Halloween video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm glad you guys were able to join me for it. Uh, always nice to have the Mew Mew Force better. I have to get you back on a, a Fago video now that I don't do Dokkan stuff anymore. And I do uh, <laughs> I do Fago now. <laughs> a vast majority of people only remember you from the very, very old days. So we need to have a refresher and everything. <laughs> what is Fago? Fake Grand Order. I have no idea what that is. You don't? Oh man, this could be a really. An, good. That's a you know what? Gotcha. I, it is a you know what? I have a it's a gotcha featuring historical dudes from across the world. Um, I'm assuming. Oh, okay, I think I've seen I've seen from the Fate series. Yeah, from the Fate series. So oh, okay, it's the gotcha version of it. Maybe there's something fun I can do sometime down the line next time we can form up together and figure it out. Just to introduce everyone from the vast majority if they can <laughs> to see you or something. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Halloween video. Peace. Say goodbye, guys. Peace. Good day. By the way, off recording, I beat this guy. Oh, he's still alive! Fuck! No! <laughs> It's stage two. I started recording again. What do you mean there's a stage two? Wait, wait, he's wait, not, he's wait. I, I thought he's that was not, no. He's wait, you so sad. I thought it was over. No, wait. I thought this was gonna be a haha -ha funny moment. This is well, not I'm, funny. His his hand. I mean his his uh, life bar is going down. Oh, that's <laughs> No way you hit me with that. It would have been it would have been really funny if that was the reason you didn't win. Video over, hit by the, everyone. Video you hit, now over. <laughs> you got hit by the good old death rattle. <laughs> I did. Legitimately over now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>